Thank you for downloading this in-ear entertainment podcast. You're listening to Supermarket Matters. Episode 8, The Fog. I'm sorry, Miss Hayward. The answer's no. We simply aren't recruiting. But you've got the assistant manager position open. I saw the advert on the local notices board. Over my dead body. I don't expect you to consider me for the management post, Mr Bradshaw. I know I don't have the experience, but presumably you'll appoint an internal candidate and we'll then have to think about recruiting backfill, and I just want to volunteer early. Look, I'm sorry, Miss Hayward, but I just don't think you belong here. You're very... Emotional. And I can't discount your history. My history? I thought I was acting in the interests of the community. And now I've changed. You won't even give me a chance? Is this your management technique? The silent treatment? You'll regret this. Honestly, with pig-headed thinking like this, you're all doomed. May every curse befall your heads. As I said, emotional. Oh, honestly, Linda, I really tried to be civil, but I'm afraid I came across as being something of a witch. Whoosh! Welcome to Grab and Go. We have witches. Nonsense. You're probably just cranky because of the heat. Whoosh! We have hot witches. Oh, I know. I was tossing and turning all night last night. Whoosh! Hot witches that toss and turn all night. Oi! Stop that! I was alone. Sadly. Whoosh! Sorry. Whoosh. Welcome to Gravit. Oh no. Not again. It has long been thought that if philosophers could get to the bottom of why the whoosh doors had chosen precisely these four words at precisely this moment, a lot more would be understood about the nature of the universe. Whoosh. Oh no. Not again. Introducing... The Portent of Doom. Oh, hello, Jasper. Oh, no, not again. No, that's bad, Jasper, to you, if you don't mind. See that fog there? Rolling in. No sea fog that, no. Most unnatural. Oh, my, would you look at that? Rolling in from the west, that is. Hmm. Down off the hills where they've got that that military base. Hmm. Probably experimenting for something, messing around with dimensions and black magic and incestuous rituals. Jasper, however do you think up this nonsense? Moving awfully fast, though. Look. A thick wall of blanket fog. It's rather creepy. Ghostly like. It's probably something to do with the heat. You know, but smog or something. Being reported far and wide, this. Swansea. Cardiff. Even. Real. And just how do you know this, Jasper? Did a demon tell you? No, it, it was on the news. What is going on? Is someone on the roof fiddling with my aerial again? The radio's spewing white noise and now the phone line's dead. We're as good as cut off from the outside world. Still here, Miss Hayward. I thought you'd have gone home. Is this your doing? As if I could conjure something like that. Use your eyes, Mr Bradshaw. I was just talking to Miss Jones, and I'm about to leave, but I'm not going out in that. I did my hair this morning. For my interview. Oh, excuse me. Oh, uh, allow me, Miss Hayward. Thank you, Jasper. Oh, it's used. Yo, Jules, how you doing? Enjoying the cancer shack? I tell you, I don't miss the Siggy counter one bit. All right for you, Mr. Responsibility, all of a sudden. Honestly, Clue, the locals coming in here are increasingly deformed. 
I just had a queue of guys, each looking more hideous than the last. Chunks of skin were literally falling from their heads. Like radiation poisoning or something? Dandruff. Clue. Stomach knotting dandruff. I had half a mind to say something. You only have half a mind. Main reason the zombies haven't taken you yet. No one wants a light lunch. Mind like yours? Salad equivalent. Well, I don't want anything to do with the local zombies myself anyhow. Dandruff like that. I don't think those were locals, Jules. Christ, don't do that, Pete. You made me jump. Any local man will be using grab-and-go dandruff shampoo. I removed all other competing hair products from the shelves, see? And sales are through the roof. Surely you mean anti-dandruff shampoo? That's not what it says on the bottle. Where did he go? Did, did you even see him arrive? People are acting strangely today. I know! One customer was trying to pay for their shopping with marbles earlier. Kept fingering this freaky-looking doll. Purposefully shortchanged her. I see a sneaky fag at the back. Sure. Whoosh! Thank you for shopping at Grab and Go, but I doubt you'll ever make it back. Whoosh! Thank you for shopping at Grab and Go. Wouldn't go out there if I were you. Ah, uh, it's no good. I can't get hold of Swansea Branch no matter how I try. I'll have to make do without first aid materials. It's amazing we didn't notice the lack of them before now. Nothing gory happens. Hmm. Oh, so sorry. I was miles away. It's hypnotic. Strange goings on. I heard someone scream just now, but that's it. Nothing since. I don't think we should go out there. It'll be dangerous. Oh, come now. It's only a light fog. It's not really anything sinister. The drivers in the car park won't be able to see you. The headlights aren't even cutting it. I've actually been meaning to ask, Miss Jones. I haven't received your application for the assistant manager post. Oh, I, I don't think I want the job, Mr Bradshaw. It's very kind, you're thinking of me and everything, but oh, I'm happy doing what I'm doing. Since my husband left me, I've not much need for, well, anything, really. If you're sure. It's a real pity, though. What's that? What? I thought I saw something out there. Ah! What was that? He hit the window there. Oh my God, there's hundreds of them. What is that? Flying ants at this time of year. It's, it's been hot, but these look more like locusts. Don't worry, we'll be all right. So long as they stay on the outside. Whoosh! Welcome to Grab and Go. Tiny flappy thing. No! Doors! Close! Close! Oh Christ, how do you lock these? So many buttons. There. Whew. Whoosh! Whoosh! Mr. Bradshaw, on your neck! Got it. That's it. We're closed. Any customers are welcome to stay here. Those bugs are a health hazard. At least if we have to stay the night, I'll be able to help. I've got previous. As if anyone could struggle to scavenge in a supermarket. I was only saying. I'm going to find Clue. Clue? Clue! Oh, there you are. Mr. Bradshaw. Oh, thank the Lord. It's Jules. We went at the back for a crafty fag and Jules was... She was swallowed up by the fog. She's, she just disappeared. I don't know where she's gone. You've you got to believe me. A likely story. She snuck out to see a new fella who works on the petrol pumps. She never. I'll get to the bottom of this. I'm going to take a look. Oh, my God! I've just seen a massive spider! Pete, you got red on you. What? Oh, that. I was bitten by a bug just now. It's really swelling up. Ugh. Blood. Pete! Jasper, can you help me? Mr. Bradshaw's been bitten by something. Mr. Craddock, don't help that man. He's a sinner. It's his dirty work that's brung this fate down on us all. Um, yes, ma'am. This damned store has been an ill omen. And Mr. Bradshaw has led the choir. Jasper, when you help me? Miss Hayward, you've radicalised him. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Young'un, no, they're in my words. Got me my first disciple. Unnatural phenomena are upon us. The Lord intends to cleanse our souls. Heaven help us all. Come on, Pete. Come on, this way. 
Um... Clue? What's wrong with Mr Bradshaw? <gasps> He's been bitten by something oh. and passed out and... And the preacher and his wife really aren't helping. I don't know what to do. Jules is gone. We could have used her car. That self-worshipping harlot. Good riddance to her. Miss Hayward, please. This isn't like you. Mrs. Hayward. The Lord has a use for us all. And one must answer his calling. And I am that Lord! I'm sorry, but no, you're not. I, I, I could be. You're not. I thought they'd never leave us alone. Will you help me lift him? You have to stand up to people, Llewellyn Parsons. Or oh, your struggle being assistant manager. Me? I thought you were going to get it. Oh, no, I don't want it. It's yours. When Mr Bradshaw signs it off, that is. Really? Well, then we've got to save him. Save him? It's an insect bite. At worst, it's going to be sore. Whoosh! Welcome to Grab and Go. I thought the doors were locked. Miss Hayward must have left with all the other customers. What a strange day. Yes. At least nothing truly terrifying came out of that fog. Hey. What's that? Lurching this way. Not now, Pete. Oh my God! Oh God, no! Miss Jones, what's wrong? All right, Linda. Harold, what the hell are you doing here? I've come to claim you back. Wife belongs with her husband. Taint right you leaving me. You left him. Shut a clue. Almost didn't find this place in that fog. Ready dangerous. Go away, Harold. And, uh... Miss Jones, we've got to get Mr. Bradshaw some kind of help. He's burning up. I've got the car here. Part right up front, considering visibility. I've seen some crazy things today. At least help us carry him. Right you are. Thank you for shopping at Grab and Go. Do come again. <laughs> Whoosh! Please, someone come to Grab and Go. I don't like being alone. I'm alone, lost in the woods. Whoosh! What was that? Who's there? Whoosh! Please don't hurt me. Whoosh! I'll do anything. Please. Whoosh! Whoosh! I've got no legs. I, I, I can't run. Whoosh! Why can't I run? Why don't I have legs? Whoosh! Oh, oh, please! Don't leave me here! You've been listening to Supermarket Matters, an in-ear entertainment podcast. This episode was written by Joseph Brown and was voiced by Mark Carl Groves, Helen Devitt, J.D. Kelly, P.J. Montgomery, Sean Prescott... Verity Smith and Ricky Valentine. Background music and sound effects are courtesy of Pete Bayliss of Jam Yama Media, and the jingle was composed by Kate Rabbiotti. So, how have you been keeping, Len? I'm not ready to talk to you yet. Can we try the radio? No signal anywhere still. We're back in England now. Soon seen signs for Bristol. And the weather today. Sunny in all areas of the UK. Cloudy in Wales. Some quite unusual activity there, and we're still waiting to hear from our studio staff in Cardiff. If anyone in Wales is listening, do please let us know that you're okay.